you think that it is as it is now for you, YouTube is a sustainable business model? Are you looking outside of YouTube? Like, basically, and I asked Olga this question, I asked, what if tomorrow YouTube became the MySpace of 2010? Um, and she was like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> but like, for yeah. you too, you know, do you think about that stuff? <laughs> yeah. or, or is it just kind of like, you just hope and pray for that me, nothing will happen to YouTube? Yeah, for me, like, YouTube is my little business, you know? It's like, what I have that's all my own. But I do dabble and stretch myself so thin doing other things and with different companies that I work for and different <coughs> jobs that I book acting wise or um, or even working with other YouTubers, you know. So the, the my YouTube channel is, is, yeah, it's my little business, I feel like. And it's nice to have that cr sense of control and, um, and pride and like something that's just yours. So if it was if it was gone, I feel like I w all wouldn't be lost because I have so many other things that I could do, and I think at the end of the day I'd figure out something to still get my content to people, you know. Um, but but it would be devastating. Oh man, you build up something for so long, and then it's just oh sorry, gone. I know, right? Oh <laughs> yeah. my gosh, I can't imagine. Um, so for people that are wanting to get into YouTube. Art or business, what is the percentage that they need to, like, what's, how do they need to separate their two brains? Oh, man. Oh, man, that's tough. It's really tough because it's just like anything in the entertainment industry. There's no right path. There's mm -hmm. no, like, set road to just walk down and you're going to be successful. Everyone has gotten to it on a different route. Some people are more artistic and that helps them and their business is awful, but because they're so good at what they do, everyone sees it. People share it. They're good. Some people aren't that artistic. They just know the business. They put out stuff regularly. They blast it all the time, get in everyone's face, and they wear people down and become popular, you know? Yeah. So for me, I feel like you have to have a good mixture of both. And both can be successful. But I would rather lean towards the side of being more artistic because it'd be more fulfilling rather than the business side where I feel like I just... I don't know, I, like, I, you know, I, I wouldn't mind the business side as long as I was confident in my artistic ability, ability, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I'm more business-oriented and I'm just, like, that's the route I'm going to take for my YouTube channel, it's just, like, oh, I'm just going to go to all the blogs, I'm going to build my Facebook and Twitter and just, like, get this huge audience by building it this way and not caring about the content, if I at least had some confidence that my content is good enough for me to be doing all this kind of business work then then I'd be okay with that right but if you're starting your YouTube channel ugh, I feel like it's more important to be artistic and creative mm -hmm. because you can learn the business the longer you do it yep. but I feel like it's harder a lot of creativity is kind of innately in you and the way you see the world and the way you interpret the world can't really teach that to most people. I mean, you can take classes for comedy and writing and all that, but I feel like what's so unique about a lot of the people and what we do is it's who we are and it's our personality and like we put ourselves into what we're creating. So that's what drives a lot of people to your channel and what makes it popular is you as the artist. Yeah. So I think that's the most important one and you can learn the business side of it later. Yeah. But that's a good question. It's so tough. Yeah, that's a great question. 